What? Why isn't there? When I returned from a family vacation, I discovered that my valuable watch was missing. Darling, we are in trouble. Thief! I have to report it right away. No, no, no. I was renting the house to my mother. Huh? I already called the police. My name is Susanna, and I'm a 32 years old office worker. My husband Martin and I have been married for two years. We met on a blind date thrown by a friend of ours. I had broken up with my boyfriend for many years, and she was worried about me. I was in a heartbroken state, so my friend held a blind date for me. I met Martin there. He had a fresh and friendly atmosphere, and he was easy to talk to. Even so, I didn't get into a romantic mood at first. I felt like I had met a new male friend. Then, I exchanged contact information with him, and we started going out for drinks after work. Even though I had no intention to fall in love with him, he would regularly invite me out for drinks or dinner. He said he would wait until I was in the mood for romance. Such an approach made me I would start to be interested in him. When I became aware of him like that, I started to like him more and more. And then, he confessed his feelings for me. We started dating. We continued dating. We got married two years later. Two years after our marriage, we were still in love. I never thought I would meet the man of my dreams. That's how much I enjoyed my life with my husband. However, I'm a little dissatisfied with my life with my beloved husband. It is about my mother-in-law. My mother-in-law loves her only son very much. Moreover, my mother-in-law was hostile to me when I greeted her at our wedding. You played with Martin. Oh my god, I can't believe that he would fall for such a plain ordinary woman. My mother-in-law said something like that to me. At that time, my husband was just going to the bathroom. My mother-in-law was trying to get a moment along with me. I didn't know how to respond. I could only turn my head down. Seeing me like that, my mother-in-law laughing with a look of triumph on her face. I remember. My father-in-law had some urgent work to do at that time. I could not meet him at the time of the wedding greeting. I met my father-in-law at the meeting between our two families. My father-in-law was very kind to me. I felt relieved. So the only trouble for me was my mother-in-law. My mother-in-law was a nuisance. She often came to my house without appointment, and she complains a lot about my housework. Hey, Susanna, your room is a mess. What? Hey, mom, why are you opening my room without my permission? As a mother-in-law, I have to know if my daughter-in-law is keeping the house clean. Saying so, she started to check various places in the house. Even when I stopped her, she wouldn't listen to me, and started to open everywhere in the house. Oh, I knew it! The inside of a closet! I thought it was dirty! Mom, enough please! We became a family when we got married but we still have to have manners and courtesy. Please don't go into my room without my permission. When I said this, my mother-in-law's eyes widened and she became angry. She said, You are a cocky little wife. How can you grow up to be a person with no common sense like you? I bet you didn't get enough education from your parents. My mother-in-law said such things to me. Not only me, she made fun of my parents as well as me. Which one of us has no common sense? Did your parents raise you to go through people's houses without permission? Huh? Are you making fun of my parents? I can't believe it. Martin married a really lousy wife. That's how my mother-in-law yelled at me. I think I had a terrible mother-in-law. However, my mother-in-law came to my house when my husband was not around and picks on me. It's really catty. And when my husband comes home, my mother-in-law changes her attitude and smiles. Martin, welcome home. 
Oh, Mom, you're here. We have been waiting for you. Let's have dinner together today. I'll cook. With that, my mother in law happily made dinner. Mom's cooking is delicious. I'm looking forward to it. Today, I'm making Martin's favorite clam chowder. Oh, I was just thinking. I've been craving some clam chowder. That's my mom. I guess we are a mother and son after all. My mother in law and my husband in such a friendly atmosphere. I wish she would talk to me like that. But seeing her change like that and say such terrible things, I have seen my mother in law's back and forth nature. It's insane. And my mother in law at this time did even more terrible things. Come now, let's have some clam chowder. With that, my mother in law put out the clam chowder. Yeah, I haven't had it in a while. It's still delicious. Really? Thank you, Martin. My husband said so. So I took a sip. It's too salty. What? The clam chowder my mother in law made was extremely salty. I was so surprised that I let out an unintentional gasp. My husband looked at me curiously. Is it that salty? I think it's a little salty. I think it's pretty salty for me. I don't know. How can they eat this salty clam chowder so easily? Oh, Susanna has a weakness for saltiness. I didn't make it so salty. My mother in law was also eating normally. Perhaps it's because this parent and child have a strong sense of taste. I tried my best to eat the clam chowder. And I finished it. By the time I finished it, I was thirsty. Susanna, you drink a lot of water. Because it was so salty. You don't usually season your food, do you? Because you don't use seasonings or anything, it makes you thirsty. My mother in law said something like that. I was so thirsty that I couldn't hear my mother in law's bad words. I was gulping water. And after my mother in law left, I looked in the pantry and I noticed the salt was unusually low. At that time, I realized what had happened. My mother in law had added an excessive amount of salt only to my clam chowder. In other words, my husband's and my mother in law's clam chowder was just a regular one. I was appalled and at the same time extremely angry at my mother in law. No matter how angry she was at me, I would never go to such a length just because I was angry. From then on, I never let my mother in law cook for me when she came over. If I let my mother in law cook, she would do something that would put me in danger. So I would cook as much as I could. Susanna is working. I will do it. No, I'm fine. You're a guest in the house. I can't let my husband's mother cook and slack off. I stubbornly refused to let my mother in law cook. My mother in law once did me that she was extremely wary of my cooking. But I will never do such a childish thing. I will never fall to the same level as my mother in law. I was determined not to do what my mother in law did. I was just as wary of my mother in law as she was of me. So, when they told me they were going to have dinner at my parents in law's house, I would give a good reason not to go. My mother in law seems to be very frustrated that things were not going her way. I was one step ahead of her. I tried my best not to have anything to do with her. I continued to live my life that way. I felt a lot less stress. But one day, my husband said something like this to me Suzanne, don't you like my parents? What? Mom has been complaining about you. You avoid her and dad. She says you don't communicate with her at all. That's what she said. I see that you haven't visited my parents' house for a while. Are you having a hard time with my parents? I was troubled when my husband said that, but I thought it would be better to say it clearly. I was actually bullied by your mom. What? She was snobbing you? Yes, when you are not around. She says all kinds of horrible things to me. And when we first got married, 
Do you remember that I said your mom's cream chowder was too salty? I looked in the pantry afterward and found that I was down more than half a pound of salt, which I must not have used that much since I bought it. That was just my clam chowder with a tremendous amount of salt. So ever since then, I've been scared to eat your mom's cooking. I was scared to go to your parents' house because there was a probability that your mom would cook. I'm sorry I didn't tell you before. I told him everything honestly. My husband would understand. So I gathered up the courage to speak. But my husband's reaction was not what I expected. Suzanne! Are you serious? Mom would never be so mean to you. What? It's just too much. Wait, wait. She really bullied me. That's your paranoia. Did my mom put a lot of salt in only your clam chowder? Mom wouldn't do such a childish thing. And yet, you avoid her on your own with such suspicion. My husband did not listen to me at all. Then, my relationship with my husband became a bit strained. Conversations decreased, and the days when we were together became more and more awkward. Maybe that's why my husband seems to be working more overtime. He always comes home late these days, and he traveled on business more often. I was grateful to have more time alone at home, but at the same time, I felt lonely. In the meanwhile, I was invited my parents to go on a family vacation. Suzanne, you have been feeling down lately, and after talking it over with your dad, we decided to take our vacation and travel and stay in Miami for a couple of nights. Of course, if you are willing. I said yes. I will go. I want to go. And I was going on a three day, two night family vacation. It was awkward. But I told my husband in passing, I will be traveling for three days starting on the 23rd. Okay. So, about dinner and stuff. I'm just in town on a business trip, so don't worry about it. What? Okay, okay. And that was the end of our conversation. How did this happen? I felt shocked and decided to refresh myself once on a family vacation for now. The first trip with my parents in a long time was fun and relieved some of the stress I had been feeling. Relax on the beach, feel relaxed and comfortable. Eating delicious food I felt happy. Since we stayed two nights, we were able to do enough sightseeing and I think we had a very satisfying trip. Then I went home once to my parents' house to relax and then went home. It was Monday. My husband is on a business trip for a week. He will be back tomorrow. I decided to discuss it again when my husband returned. It is not good to have an awkward relationship like this going on. Again, I decided to start over properly. With this in mind, I unlocked the house. Then, I went into my room. At that moment, I felt something strange. It was something different from when I left home. Then, I noticed a subtle rearrangement of things. I examined every inch of the room. When I look in my closet, the clothes I hang are in different positions. In addition, the drawers were messy. And something very important to me was missing. I was like, what? Why isn't it there? When I returned from a family vacation, my fine watch was gone. I got a promotion when I turned 30. And as a reward to myself, I bought a watch that cost $5,000. I didn't want to damage it too much. So I kept it safe and used it for formal occasions, such as someone's wedding or a work-related party. The watch had been kept in a box in a drawer. But lo and behold, the watch was missing. I thought it was a thief. When I go to the living room, the room is somehow dirty. I immediately called my husband. Hello? We're in trouble. Thief. What? A thief? My stuff is missing. What? Did they take anything else? What about my stuff? I'll check. Alright. I'll be right back. 
Okay. I hung up the phone and immediately checked my husband's room. However, his room did not appear to have been ransacked at all. I found nothing in his room. Then I found something strange. It was a cute and fashionable little paper bag. The bag was in a drawer in my husband's room. It seems to be a gift. Perhaps he's getting me something for our wedding anniversary soon. That's what I thought. But there was also a letter in there. The name was written on the front to Lisa. And I was immensely shocked to see it. The letter was not addressed to me. It was addressed to Lisa. What in the world is this? I opened the letter. And there it was. My husband talking about his love for a woman I didn't know. I immediately took a picture of it and also opened the present. The gift was an expensive looking ring. Of course, it was not intended for me because that ring was considerably smaller than my size. My fingers are a little thicker and bigger than most women's, and my ring size is big too. And I realized something. My husband was to have gone on a business trip to a rural area, and yet he said he would be here in about 30 minutes. If he's on a business trip, it should take at least a few hours. It means he lied to me about being on a business trip, and he's somewhere near my house. So, this would mean that my husband is having an affair. I don't trust my husband. I have to deal with this thievery fiasco on my own as well. As I was getting things ready, my husband came home looking panicked. Suzanne, what's going on in the house? Was any of my stuff stolen? No, nothing in particular. But the luxury watch I bought was stolen. What? You see, my room is the only one that shows subtle signs of having been ransacked. Also, the living room and kitchen. There were signs that someone had used. I have to call it in now. When I said this, my husband stopped me with a half. No, don't. I was renting the house to my mom. Huh? What do you mean? So, I told my mom she could do whatever she wanted with it while Susanna and I were away from home. What? What do you mean? You gave your keys to your mom? Well, I made a duplicate key and gave it to her. Huh? That's not what I asked you. Why would you do that? Mom said she wanted to clean the house for us since we were both working. Not only is the house cleaned out, but my luxury watch is missing. Well, that's I don't know. Maybe it's not mom, huh? Then call your mom over here. Okay, okay. My husband reluctantly called his mom. My parents-in-law's house is close to this house. My mother-in-law came over right away. Oh my god, what's the matter? You look so grim. May I ask, did you steal my watch? What? Your watch? I don't know what you're talking about. I asked so simple and directly that my mother-in-law was momentarily upset. At this point, she's already suspicious. Suzanne, see? Mom doesn't know anything about this. Don't you ever doubt her again. What? Could it be that Suzanne was treating me like a thief? It's awful. It's so sad. My mother-in-law thought she was in good shape now that my husband was on her side. And she says something like this, but even I can't lose. If I'm wrong in my prediction, I apologize. But please be prepared if you are the culprit. Hum, I told you I didn't do it. Yes, she said. So how do you prove it? Why wouldn't the police check that? What? The police? Hey, Suzanne, there's no need to get the police involved. I already called the police, didn't I? What? When I said this, my mother-in-law's face turned blue at once. I'm sure they will be arriving soon, so don't run away and wait. Five minutes later, the police arrived. There, my mother-in-law went to hell. I explained to the police what happened. 
My mother-in-law insisted. It wasn't me. But she had to admit that my husband had given her a key to the room, and that she had been using the house while he and I were not there. Because she lied there, and that makes her suspicious at once. If it weren't you, I would have to file a damage report and have the perpetrator tracked down. I said this, which made my mother-in-law anxious. Maybe they are sold at second-hand stores or something, in second-hand shops around town. Can you check out the second-hand stores in town, in the city? When I told the police, my mother-in-law exclaimed, ah! in a distressed tone. Of course, the police didn't miss it. The police said he would also check around the second-hand shop and review security cameras and other video footage. Then, my mother-in-law finally relented and confessed that she had stolen my watch. Oh, I just wanted the money. Plus, I was pissed off with my son's wife. Oh no, I didn't think mom. My husband was shocked that his mom was the culprit. With the police, we went to a second-hand store. My watch seems to have just been put on display at a second-hand store yesterday, and no one had bought it yet. I'm so glad to have my favorite watch back that I bought as a reward for myself. Well, now it's time to sanction my idiot mother-in-law and my husband. Nevertheless, my father-in-law became fed up with my mother-in-law over this theft and served her with divorce papers. Relatives and neighbors recognized her as a thief, and she seems to have been completely ostracized. I was then paid $1,000 by my mother-in-law as a settlement for the theft. I also took a little longer to deal with my husband, but I used a private inquiry agency to get proof of the affair and confront him with a divorce. When I asked him for a divorce and alimony, he collapsed to his knees with a pale face. Then, my husband and I were officially divorced, and alimony was paid by him and his adulterous partner. The ex-husband tried to get together with the adulterer, but the ex-mother-in-law forcefully moved into his house, and the adulterer got fed up and ran away. Now, the ex-husband seems to be living in extreme poverty while supporting his parasitic mother and paying alimony. Meanwhile, I'm back at home, living peacefully with my parents and devoting myself to my work. Since I'm not interested in romance, I'm going to keep working hard at my job and concentrate on achieving results.